Oh, what's up guys? So this is going to be the first episode of the series of making a game in Unreal Engine 5 with MetaHumans. I'm using the MetaHumans project from my last video. Uh, the link is in the description. And today uh, we are going to create an inventory and pickup system for your game. So let's begin. So the first thing we need is to create uh, structures for our items, you know, um, define what kind of items uh, are they so for that we're just going to create a folder called inventory open it up create a new folder called categories like that and inside here we can start by creating like weapons so here is where all your item types will be and here is where we are going to define what a weapon is. To do that, go to blueprints right here and say structure and create a weapon struct. Okay. Open it up. And here we are going to define uh, the properties that uh, weapons have. So a weapon will have a name, right? Um, it will have uh, a mesh or rendering the the weapon in the world so it will be in this case a skeletal mesh <clears throat> um so in, in other items it might be static so it's your choice but most weapons are skeletal so um and we'll also have the ammo for example and it will be an uh, integer so you can add more things uh the ammo uh it's all I'm going to add right now, but you can add like the fire rate, the range, and uh, everything you want. I'm just going to keep it simple. So save, close it. Uh, now we are going to create a data table to store the weapons that exist in the game. So select the weapon struct right here and click OK. And call it weapon table. <clears throat> open it up and as you can see we have the um, structure properties right here uh, we can add a new row to the table double click here and say pistol now we can uh, set the values of this item the name is going to be the same name as the row which will be pistol the mesh will be the m9 pistol from the advanced locomotion system and we'll have 50 of ammo. <clears throat> so now we can add another item. We can say like uh, rifle. Uh, the name is going to be rifle. The mesh M4A1. And the ammo 200. Okay, save. So now we have two weapons that actually exist in our game. And we can use them, we can use their values, and that's it. So now we can close this. And right here, we're going to create a component to store the weapons and to add things to the inventory. So right here, click Blueprint class, select Actor Component, and say Actor Component Weapons. Okay, open it up. And delete this and the first things we need is a list to store our items it's going to be of type name and right here we're going to select map and the second type will be weapon struct so this basically means that you will have a list indexed by name and each item of the list will be a weapon struct okay that's basically it um compile so now we need a function uh that we can call from somewhere else to add uh, weapons so right here say give so to give weapons to the player uh this is going to receive a name okay so now we need to check um if this name that we receive actually exists in the table that contains the weapons uh from the game 
So to do that, we're going to create a macro and we're going to say um, valid. Um, right here, get table row, this one. Connect the execution pin, connect the name to the input as well. Select the weapon table and connect both pins to the, sorry, to the um, output like this. Compile save. Um, we can actually, sorry, um, from this result, we need to set it to a variable like this. If we found the row, we set it to a variable. If we do not find, we set it to nothing, basically. Set this to nothing. So compile, save, that's it. Now we can go back to the give function, call the valid function like that, connect everything, and that's it. So now if the item exists in our game, we need to check if it exists in our inventory. If it does, we can uh, increase the amount. In this case, we are going to max out the ammo or uh, whatever. So, and if it doesn't exist, you can uh, add the item directly to uh, the inventory. So to do that, we're going to create a macro called exist. Uh, right here, you're going to grab the items and you're going to grab the output result that came from the table. You're going to split the structure here. You're going to say uh, find from the items and we connect the name to the name. <clears throat> um, create a branch, connect the execution pin right here, the true and the false like that. And that's it. Compile, save, go back to the give. If we did find the row, we verify if it exists in our inventory. If we did not find the row, we can also just return um, a result saying this was not successful. So success, boolean, and uncheck. Okay. So now if we found the item in our inventory, we're going to stack the values. If we did not find it, we can add it directly. So we can create a add function right now. Add. <clears throat> and say items. Add. The output result. Like that. Now get the output result again. Say split structure. And connect the name. So now connect these things here and we can return saying that this was successful so added for example it was added and we can also no just leave it like that for now this is good so it was added okay compile save so uh, now we can go back to the gift function and say if we did not find the item in the inventory we add the item to the inventory. We can add the return nodes and return the result like that. Compile, save. Um, now we need to create the function that will stack the ammo uh, in our inventory. So create a new function called stack. Um, get the items. Again, find the item in our inventory. The name is going to come from the table results as well. Split structure, name to the name. Again, branch, connect right here and say if this was true, drag this one, set members, connect to the true, uh, click this, uh, click the ammo pin. So this means that we are setting uh, properties inside the item that we found on the on the list. So and now we just connect the ammo to the ammo. 
So if the if we found an item, we say that the ammo that we currently have will be the max ammo that we are uh, that we are allowed to have. So that's it. Uh, we can now return notes again, saying that this was added like that, and boom. So and then you can copy the return notes, and in the false you uncheck the added. Compile save. Go back to the give function. Get the stack function. Connect to the true, and copy the results like this. And that's it. So that's it. So if the weapon exists in our game, um, we continue to check if it exists in our inventory. If it does, we increase the, the ammo in this case, we max out the ammo. And if it doesn't, we just add it, uh, the item normally. Okay, so that's it. So now we can um, add this component to our character and call this function. Okay. So let's go back to our character uh, that contains the functionality. Uh, let's add the weapons component. Okay. Now let's create a function called pickup weapon. And here we drag the components. We say give. Connect this right here. The name is going to come from here. And we can add again a return node saying that this was successful. Compile, save, and that's it. So now we're going to create a pickup that will tell the character to pick up the weapon. Okay. So go back to the inventory folder right here create a new blueprint class actor and say bp pickup okay and let's create just another thing right here go to blueprints enumeration and call it categories category names okay category names open it up add a new one and we're going to call it weapons that's it for now okay save um, open the pickup that we created and right here we need to add the, the things that we will allow us to pick up the weapon so we need a sphere collision to detect the collision we need a skeletal mesh if we have a skeletal mesh and we need a static mesh if we have a static mesh that's it okay compile uh, go to variables um, add a new variable called item name which is going to be a name compile save and we can add another variable called category or uh, item type item type is better um, and this is going to be of type category names Okay, category names, the enumerator that we just created. So compile, save, that's it. Um, now go to construction script and we need to do a few things. Uh, so the first thing is we're going to go um, switch um, the category types, category names, sorry. Now we can drag the item type like this and we can say if we have weapons, right? We're going to get the table row from the weapons table. We're going to grab the item name that we created as well and add it right there. And we're going to say if the row was found, okay, we grab the skeletal mesh and say set skeletal mesh that's it boom and split the structure here and say the mesh will be this mesh right here that's it 
So if we have more categories, we can just um, do the same logic depending of, on if this is a skeletal mesh or if it is a static mesh. But that's it basically. So now compile and save. Um, now you can close it. We can drag this to the world like this. Um, now we can, sorry, you can open it up again. This item name needs to be editable. Expose on spawn. Compile, save. Now you will see this item name exposed right here. And now you can say pistol. And you can see that we have a pistol. Sorry, the kit category also must be exposed so we can select it so the item type editable exposed on spawn compile save so now we should be here okay uh, in this case we only have weapons but it's important that you keep this here uh, in my opinion whatever so we have the first pickup we can uh, for example like duplicate this and now say that this was going to be a um, rifle Okay, like that. And as you can see, we have our pickups. So, uh, the only thing it's missing is to pick up the item. So, to do that, go back to the pickup right here. Um, find the sphere collision. Go down here to on component begin overlap. Click here. And now we have a function uh, to communicate with our character. So if the character steps on the sphere from the other character, we're going to cast to meta human character, to the base character. And from here, we're going to say pick up weapon. We're going to call the function that we created before. So the name is going to be the item name that we also have here. And that's it. So you can create a branch and say if this was successfully picked up, we can destroy this actor. And that's it. Um, we can then uh, use the item type as well to say if we want to pick up a weapon or pick up anything else but for now I'm just uh, gonna leave it there and I'm going to do that on the next video so compile save um, so now if we go over the weapons we should be able to pick them up that's it um, if you want to check what uh, what weapons do you have in your inventory you can go to your character, go to event graph, uh, right here, uh, let's just say e, e boards, e boards, yeah, so just select any key just to test out, uh, so e, I'm going to say, I'm going to get the weapons component, get items, uh, values and for each value that we have on the inventory we are going to print uh, split the structure we're going to print its name that's it uh, compile save so now if we hit play if I press E nothing happens now if i pick up the pistol and press e you can see i have a pistol now if i go over the rifle and press e you can see that i have the rifle and a pistol that's it um this is how to create a simple inventory um i think it's better to organize things this way than to have a single inventory with uh, multiple things this way you can create even functionality like to cycle the weapons um, that, that are equipped or not. You can create some specific functionality just for uh, other type of items. So I think uh, it's a good approach to create inventory. So yeah, I hope you liked it. 
I hope you learned something with it. And thanks for watching.